What's up everyone? So I've got another PS3 video for you all. Today we're going to be talking about how you can install emulators on your custom firmware PlayStation 3 so that you can play games from many different retro systems. Thanks to custom firmware, your PlayStation 3 can run RetroArch emulators. I've talked about these emulators on other systems like on the PS Vita and Wii U and the PS3 can also run them really well. I like installing emulators on pretty much every system that I mod. It's a great thing, which helps unlock a lot more potential in the systems and gives you hundreds of new games to play. So of course, to be able to install emulators on your PlayStation 3, you are going to need to be running custom firmware. If you don't have custom firmware yet, make sure you check out my how to install custom firmware on a PS3 video. I'll leave a link to it in the cards area. Other thing you're gonna need is a USB drive so that we can send the files over to our PS3. And that's about it. So to get started, we'll move to the computer and download the RetroArch emulators. All right, so on your computer, you're gonna to need to download the latest release of the RetroArch emulators. So go ahead and hit up the first link in the video description and you'll find where you can download the RetroArch emulator PKG file. And once you have it, really we're just gonna to need to put it onto a USB drive. So I've connected a USB drive to my computer and I'm just gonna move the RetroArch files to the root of the drive. It's the easiest way to do it. Great, so once you have that file in place, you can go ahead and eject the USB storage from your computer, plug it into the PS3, and let's switch back to the console now. Alright, and with that drive connected to the PS3, we'll find the package manager in the game list of XMB. And here we'll choose install package files, and then standard from the root of your storage device, and you should be able to see the RetroArch PKG file. So this is the one we're going to install. Great, so when it's finished installing, you'll be able to notice the RetroArch icon and your game list in XMB. So we can go ahead and start the emulator up now, make sure that it's working. And if it is, it should load up and look like this for you. So in the main menu, if you come down to load core, you can choose which emulator core you want to use. So you can see there's quite a number of cores already in here. We've got the Super Nintendo, we've got Sega Genesis and Mega Drive stuff, we've got the NES Famicom, Game Boy Advance, some arcade cores, and a couple others in there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some ROMs on a USB drive, and then we'll go ahead and test them to see how the games run on the PS3. Now just before we get in and try some games, we're going to come to Settings and then come down to Input, and in here... There's a setting that I really recommend you look at called Menu Toggle Gamepad Combo. What you can do in here is set some buttons which will return you to the RetroArch menu. So I'm going to set it to L1, R1, Start and Select. So that makes it easier to switch between games and things like that. So with that done, I'm going to come into Load Core. First I'll choose Super Nintendo. Then I'll come down to Load Content. Find my USB drive. In here I've got a ROMs folder where I put some things and I'll just try loading, let's try Secret of Mana 2 or say Condensed to 3. So as you can see this game's loaded well and looks pretty great on the PS3. So when I'm finished, I'll push LR Start and Select, and that brings me back to the menu. So here I'll close the content, and while we're at it, we'll try another game. So as you can see, Chrono Trigger also looking pretty sharp here on the PS3. So let's check out a different system. Going to switch cores here, let's try out the Mega Drive. And I'll just see if the Sega game Wonder Boy 3 and the Dragon's Trap is working correctly. So sure enough, the game loads up and plays pretty great. So 
So here I'm testing the FB Alpha Arcade Core. And sure enough, Marvel vs. Capcom has loaded and looks pretty nice. Capcom and last, we'll just take a look at the Famicom as well, or the NES. And sure enough, Mr. Gimmick is looking great on the PS3. Alright team, so that's a basic look at RetroArch on the PlayStation 3. As you can see, it's pretty cool, it can allow your system to run a lot more games from many different platforms. So I definitely recommend if you have custom firmware, go ahead and install RetroArch on your system today. Also, if you're wanting to put some credit onto your PlayStation Network account, go ahead and check the links in the description as there will be affiliate links there to purchase those cards through sites like PlayAsia and Amazon. Any purchases you guys make using the affiliate links definitely help my channel out, so thank you guys for that. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. I've still got a few more PlayStation 3 videos lined up, so stay tuned if you enjoy that content. Hope you have a beautiful day. Peace out.